Right. Having uh, looked at theory and and at bases and at fallacies, um, in terms of well, I, I don't know, a practical heuristic, uh, possibly. Um, what do we do uh, in terms of ethical decision making? I mean, it is important. It's uh, important to information technology in general, not uh, simply in terms of, of security, uh, confidentiality, and that sort of thing. But, um, I mean, there are aspects in regard to our responsibility for uh, availability um, and, and ensuring that the information is available um, ensuring that information is uh, uh, that the integrity of information is is maintained. Um, so you know there there are uh, decisions that we need to make about our technology, our systems in general um, that have ethical. Uh, uh, implications and uh, bases. So, um, what do we do? How do we make these decisions? Um, uh, again, you know, this this turns on on some philosophical theories, but it's more as a convenient place to sort of hang uh, ethical principles and ideas. Um, to make sure that we we don't miss something when we're making these types of decisions. Um, so, uh, Kant's categorical imperative. Uh, I mean, to simplify that, you know, fancy terms and, and that sort of thing in, in terms of philosophies of ethics, but... What it means is just treat everybody equally. Uh, you know, don't... Uh, <laughs> the Bible uh, uh, tends to talk about partiality. You know, don't uh, treat rich people better. Uh, uh, give them preference. Um, uh, don't give your friends preference. Um... Those, those types of things. It's, you know, so, um, you know, treat, treat everyone the same. It, you know, I mean, it's a good basis for business, uh, at the very least. Um, uh, utilitarianism, I, I mentioned this before. Um, the, uh, you know, the greatest good to the greatest number. Um, uh, treat, uh, take the action that will result in the best outcome for uh, the most people. Um, it will result in the greatest happiness, the greatest productivity, the greatest, you know, uh, the best overall outcome uh, for people. Uh, taking a bit of a broader view than just, you know, okay, it will this work? Uh, so, uh, risk aversion. <laughs> I mean, we are risk management specialists. At least we, we should be. We should do risk analysis. We uh, should understand uh, risk. And in the same way, in terms of uh, ethical decisions, you know, what is, you know, what is at risk here? Not only for us, for other people, for our customers, for our clients, uh, for the business environment. And of course, these days, the environment uh, that we live in. And uh, does, you know, what, what actions will be the best in this regard? Um... You know, don't don't take a risk. 
Uh, and, and I mean, risks come in a variety of forms. Uh, there is reputational risk as well. If you, you know, don't uh, take risk aversion into consideration in your decisions, your reputation may suffer. So, you know, don't take risks. Um, um, the Hippocratic Oath, uh, uh, Hippocrates, um, actually it's, it's not just the oath, but um, a, a set of principles for uh, doctors, for the, the medical system as a whole. And um, his first principle, it says, you know, first, do no harm. So, um, you know, is this action likely to result in harm uh, for someone, for us, for our customers, for our systems? Um, you know, let's uh, pay attention to that. And, you know, don't don't harm people. It's probably, you know, a very, very good basis for any kind of decision making. Um, uh, now there's one uh, that people tend to refer to as no free lunch. Uh, and, and this one is, uh, has, has implications for us in information technology very, very much so. Um, all information belongs to somebody. Uh, we can't just, you know, grab any information that we can grab, as Facebook does, and do with it what we, what we like, whatever we want. Um, be aware that, uh, there, you know, it, it's somebody's information. You know, there are privacy considerations. There may be financial considerations. Uh, you know, who who collected this information? Uh, who curated it? Uh, put it together? We need to uh, pay attention to those types of things so that it doesn't uh, create a problem for who knows? Um, I mentioned uh, legalism before, sort of in, in description, uh, when I was talking about you know, law enforcement um, uh, idea that, uh, you know, if it's, um, if it's illegal, it's immoral. If, if it's not illegal, it's okay. And... Um, don't don't fall into that trap. Um, you know, can we do this? Oh, we're not going to get into legal trouble. Yeah, are we going to get into other kinds of trouble? Are other people going to get into other kinds of trouble? You know, don't just, you know, oh, it's not illegal, so it's okay. Um, you need to you need to consider uh, the moral implications. And uh, again, professionalism, and we're we're you know right around the corner. Uh, next time we're going to be talking about professional ethics and codes of conduct, um, and uh, you know be aware of that. Uh, well, we'll talk about that when we come to them. <laughs>